All right, here we're gonna flush out a latex machine for winter. We're gonna flush the paint out. Then we're gonna winterize it. We got one pail, two and a half gallons of water. Another pail with about a gallon and a half of water. Got a hopper with a little bit of latex in the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the tip guard holders with a pair of Tanox. Before you start flushing, remove your tips. Just makes it that much cleaner. Less paint splatter all over the place that you're gonna get on yourself. Back to the side. This machine has double guns, so we gotta flush out both guns at the same time. built up gunk on that one put that up here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the pump on rev it up turn it on we're gonna pull the suction tube out of the paint until a, until air pockets come out See the paint wait till it starts spluttering a little bit couple pumps that's it, we're done. All the paint's out of the pump. We're gonna take our two and a half gallons of water, bring it on this side. Take our lid off, because we're done with the lid. Put that in the pail. Let it cycle. Until water comes out of the return pipe. that circulate for a little bit. We're going to take one gun first. We're going to blow one gun back in the hopper until water comes out. That's it. That gun's clean, cleared out. This is the long hose. So this one's going to take a little while to, to pump out. Since it's pumping slower, you can turn down your pressure to half. Clip on, pressurize the system, but keep your hand on the trigger at all times. Flush out all the paint out of the system. Now we got water. You can tell the consistency difference on it. Water's through. Turn, dump the primer back off over here. Now we're going to circulate the hoses back into the paint, to the plain water. I pressurized it just to make speed up the process. It's very little down here, see. That's oh, not bad. Water to the big hose, so we will circulate the little hose, seven foot hose that we use. Blow that one out pretty good. All right, machine's clean. All the paint's out. We have white water left in the machine now. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the suction tube out of the water, watch the primer tube, let it spurt a couple times. Right now, it's going to pop a couple times. That's all you have to do, turn the pump off. Idle the pump down. The more you try to get the paint out of the pump, is the more damage it's doing to the pump. So just turn, pull it out, let it blow once or one or two little air bubbles out, and you're good. You're done with the uh, with the cleaning. So what we're gonna do is, since this is gonna be a winter flush, normally I, this is how I'd leave it during the summer if I was just cleaning it between jobs. But since it's a winter flush, we're gonna put water in. We're gonna try to get it clean. 
So I come over here and get another empty bucket. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we got two buckets stuck together. To try to keep the water as clean as possible, we take the suction, the, the primer tube, put it into a different bucket until it starts running clean water. Takes a couple minutes once you blow it out. So now it's running. And right now you can see on the side of the bucket, it's clean water coming out of it. So we turn the pump off. Put that back in here. Into our clean water. Turn it on. Let it circulate. We we'll take our short seven foot hose. You can blow back to you the bucket, just don't blow back into what you're sucking out of right now. Run this so you get nice clean water coming out of it. There you go. Nice and clean. We're done with that hose. That hose is 100% clean. Take our 50 foot plus 25 foot hose. So it's actually, I don't know, it's just 50 foot hose. Do the same thing, blow it out until it's clean. Once again, that's why I pressurize it to speed up the process a little bit here. down machine is clean it's 100 percent out of paint it's got clean water in it uh i'm going to go get the mineral spirits and we'll do the same thing for mineral spirits here we're using just odorless mineral spirits cheapest thing i could find to flush this machine for the winter time you don't need that much of this you just want to get it through the hoses and the pump this won't affect your hoses by taking the paint off the inside of the hoses and it also help lubricate your packing kit over the winter time so it doesn't get stuck the first time you start it up I don't know how they say it's odorless but it still stinks so we're gonna put a half a gallon in there yeah, that's about good. We'll leave the top off because we might need more. So now since we got some mineral spirits in this one, we're going to start this pump back up. We're going to blow air out of the suction, the return line. Once that's happening, we're going to put the suction in the mineral spirits, put the return in the waste water. Wait till we start blowing mineral spirits out there and then put it both in back in the mineral spirits. When you 
you're in an air escape, you know your middle spurts. Take our long hose, it's gonna eat up 90% of the, the stuff. Tilt it at an angle. And now with clean water, it's hard to tell if you got water or barrel spirits coming out, so you can just, just smell. Not ah, so water. Let's see before I run out if I'm gonna make it make it or not. No water. No pumping. Bottle down, turn it off. This machine is done, it's winterized. I have to do nothing else to this. All I'm gonna do now is park it in the container. Springtime, we'll get an oil change. We'll take off this second hose because that was for a double line job we had. There's a latex, we keep single gun unless we have a huge double line job. Then we'll put double guns back on it. Uh, all the wastewater will go back into one bucket, sit in the box, let it settle out. All the solids will sit to the bottom. Then we'll just dump it out uh, in a toilet, throw the solids out in the garbage. That's it. Thanks for watching.